All right, so another one of the native elements on your list of four is going to be sulfur. Sulfur here, I've got a couple different examples again of what that would look like. The first thing that I'm sure you think of when you think of sulfur and that I think of is this bright yellow color. If I've got really small crystals, they're mixed with a bunch of things, I'll see this kind of like canary yellow, maybe a little bit whitish. And then if I have a pure crystal, it's likely that I'll see something that's this really deep kind of yellow that we see here. So that's kind of why I've got three different examples to show you the full color spectrum. And and that this one here is really almost transparent, translucent. You can see through it, right? We can see the dimension through those cracks. And then on these, they're definitely going to be more opaque in hand sample where we're not really seeing anything through. We've got really small crystals. Um, and so the first thing that you see sulfur that I see is this yellow color. The next thing that I want to do, because there are plenty of yellow minerals out there, color is not always the best thing to help you out, especially when something's this kind of see-through translucent, um, is to pick it up because sulfur is distinctively very, very light. It has a super, super low density um, and is an example of one of the lowest densities that we'll probably be seeing in this mineral list. Um, so that's one of those diagnostic things. I hold it in my hand, it's yellow, super duper light, um, and I think, ooh, maybe it's sulfur. Um, another thing to note about sulfur is almost this kind of resinous luster. It looks a little bit like, you know, it's almost been dropped in a thing of oil or something like that. It has this really waxy kind of resinous luster to it. And if we were to look with a hand lens at these samples as well, we would kind of see that mirrored too. And because these crystals are smaller, it's almost a pearly luster a little bit. Let's look at this one here. Yeah, so this one has a better example of a bunch of different crystal sizes that we have going on here. And it's rare to find sulfur in these kinds of beautiful crystals. It's more likely that we'll see these kinds of hand samples here, but they still retain that really, really low density um, that we're used to thinking about. The crystal system for sulfur is gonna be orthorhombic. So lower symmetry crystals than we're used to seeing in the native elements like gold and copper. Um, but this one almost, you can see a little bit of that orthorhombic crystal form got a little termination here, one right here, some crystal sides, but it's not going to be anything like a higher symmetry crystal. Um, let's see, always yellow, greasy, resinous luster. Anything else? Crystal habit. That's going to be about it for sulfur. It's usually typically the first thing that you're going to see is color. The next thing you're going to notice is density and how light it is.